Hi everyone. So today I'm going to solve the paper May June 2020. Paper variant 22. Okay, so in this video we will be solving task 3 database. So find out task 3 yeah, from here. Task 3 database. So let's database means we will be using the software Microsoft Access. So let's start from the first sentence. We are now going to prepare some reports. Date are to be imported in the format day, month, year. You need to note that. Using the suitable database package, when they say suitable database package, they mean Microsoft Access. Import the file j220results.csv. You need to import this file into database package. So I'm going to open a new Microsoft Access document. I'm going to name it as S20. Give you a name. Make sure you save all these files in your folder, in your working folder. So all the evidences, all the files that you create should be in your folder. So I have the folder in desktop. This is my folder, so I'm going to save it here. Okay, then click create. This will open a blank database for us. A blank database file is open. Now let's start doing the questions using the suitable database package. Import the file j220results.csv. We are going to import this file. For that, you go to external data tab. There are two sections are here, import section and export section. Make sure you are choosing the import section. In the import section, text file. Browse to the location where you have this required file so this is j220 results i'll just click on this open then click ok this will open import text wizard so there are several steps in import text wizard. So this is the first screen. You don't have to do anything. Just click next. In the second step, you have to do first row contain field names and you have to click on advanced. Here make sure the date order is DMY, delimiter, here it is slash, then Let's see what are the other specifications given. Razor ID text, last name text, first name text, club code text. So all these are text. Birth date, date and time. It's already date and time. Age, Jan, number, integer. I'll just click here, I'll choose integer. Average MPS number, store and display two decimal places. Since it's having decimal places, I'm choosing double. It's already double, so I'm not going to make any changes for that. 
even rank points raising all these are integers so i just click here choose integer the next one penalty boolean or logical to display yes no so i just click here to select yes no category text first all our text 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 so i have made the necessary changes i have made sure whatever they have given in the question paper is same as what i have here so i have made the necessary changes then i click okay then click next next here let's see whether they have asked us to do any primary key yes set razor id as primary key so i'll just click choose my own primary key razor id click next just click finish so if you have successfully imported the table you can see the table name on uh, the left side so this is the table you can double click and you can open and see your table so this is your table now let's see the specifications once again so here they have asked us to display it as two decimal places and here it should be displayed as yes no so you have to do those changes there in the design view go to home tab click on the view button design view average mph in the question paper they have told average mph uh, to store and display two decimal places so i'll just click on here you will get all the field properties down here format i'm going to choose fixed decimal places i'll be choosing two okay then penalty yes no i'll click on format here then i'm going to select yes no now click save go back to data sheet view to see whether your changes are reflected there yes now average mph all the all average mph values are having two decimal places and the penalty field has been displayed as yes or no so that is also done So the first import step is complete. Save the data. Evidence file. Place in your evidence document a screenshot showing primary key, field names and data types used in the table. So that means we have to take the screenshot of the design view. So let's take design view. This is the design view. I can see primary key field here with that key symbol. Then I can see field names, data types. All are visible here. So I can use uh, any tool. I can either use a snipping tool or the print screen button. So I'll tell, select the required area, copy it, and I'm going to paste it in my evidence document. that was evidence five so i'll just see where evidence five is here so i'll click down here and paste it got pasted okay let's continue question number 20 import the file j220clubs.csv as a new table in your database so we need to import one more table to our database 
that is day 220 clubs.csv so the club id as the primary key so they haven't mentioned anything they just have asked us to import this file and set club id as the primary key so again go to your access You are going to import the same steps. Go to external data tab. In the import section, text file. Browse to the location where you have the required table. This is the table J220 clubs. Just click on that. Open. Click OK. This will open import text wizard. Nothing to do here. Just click next. In this one, first row contain field names. Nothing to do here. Click next, next. Here, let's see whether, yes, they have asked us to make club ID as the primary key. So we are going to make club ID as primary key. For that, you are going to click choose my own primary key and make sure you have selected club ID. Click next, finish. So if you have successfully imported the table, you can see the table name on the left side. Uh, yeah it's here just double click open you can see the imported table this is the imported table so that is done now create a one-to-many relationship between club id in clubs table and club code in the results table so we need to make a one-to-many relationship Relationship means basically they are going to link these two tables. So you are using the fields club ID in the clubs table and club code in the result table. So let's open access again. Go to database tools. Click on relationships. So let's see which table you need first. Clubs table. So I'll just select clubs click add then you need a results table and i can close this i'll click and drag so that this entire table is visible we need to make one to many relationship between club id and club code so i'll just click on club id keeping my left mouse button pressed drag to club code here is the club code. So I'll get a window like this. Club ID, club code. Here I can see the relationship also one to many. Just click create. A relationship is created between club ID and club code. You can see that. Now, evidence 6. Place in your evidence document screenshot or screenshots showing the type of relationship between two tables that means you have to take a screenshot of this showing the relationship also so just double click here this table will also appear you need to include this as well as the edit relationship windows which shows it's a one to many relationship again i'm going to use my snipping tool or even you can use print screen And come to the evidence document control v so this is how i need to paste it so i have the relationship shown here as well as club id and club code that is also done now enter the following details as a new record in the results table i need to enter this as a new record in the results table so i'll just close the, all these things I have to click yes for this now this is my results table i need to enter a new record in the results table so there are 773 records currently in this table so you can see navigation buttons here here you can see new record button just click on that you will be taken to the place where you can start entering the records so i'm going to enter the records now razor id
last name first name janet club code for a real exam you will have to type all these things so you should be very careful while you are typing all this information Raising number. And this is yes. I'm going to type yes. Then in year. Then 19 to 29. Then expert female. I have typed, I have finished typing the record. I'll be clicking save. So you can see now the record number is 774. One more record has been added to our table. So that step is also done. Let's move on to the next step. Check your data entry for errors. Yes, you should be very careful while you are entering the data because it should be 100% accurate. Marks are there for that. Save the data. We have saved the data. The next question, using fields from both the tables, produce a tabular report. You are asked to produce a tabular report that selects the records where even rank is 5 or less. Ability does not include novice. Shows only the fields, first name, last name, Club name, category, gender, even rank in this order with data and labels displayed in full. Do not group the data. Sorts the data into descending order of category and ascending order of even rank. Has a page orientation of portrait. Fits on a single page wide. Includes only the text results by category as a title displayed in a larger font size fully visible at the top of the page. Calculates the number of raises and places this under gender column. Formatted as integer, has a label number of raises to the left of this value. Has only a name, center number, candidate number in the footer of the report, so it appears on every page. So basically, this question is to create a report. So to create a report, you should create a query first. And what are the fields that are to be included in the query and the report? These fields must be there. We will also see what else we need. We have noticed that we are going to do a search criteria with ability. So I'm going to include that also in that query. So first thing, we are going to make a query for this report. So I'll close all these things. To create something, to create a query, to create a report, you go to the create tab. So I'm going to create a query. Just go to create tab. You have queries group here. Click on query oh. wizard. Click OK. Choose your required table. This is not having what I require first. So first it is first name, last name, club name. So I'm going to choose first name, then last name, club name I can't find here. So I think it's in the other table. So I'm going to look in the other table. Club name. Yes, I got the first three. Category, gender, and even rank. So I'm going to look for category. 
yeah here it is category gender and even rank so i have included all the fields that are required i'm going to see what else i require so there are certain selection criteria given even rank which is based on even rank and which is based on ability so since ability is not here i'm going to choose that because i may need it for doing the query so i'm going to choose ability also because i need it to do the query click next next here you can give any name give some sensible name so that later point of time you can relate and you can understand what is this query all about so i'm going to name it as results by category query for results by category modify query design finish so this is the query design view let me click run okay i have clicked run i have all the 774 records because i haven't done any selection or any search criteria i haven't applied so i'm going to apply the search criteria one by one so the first search criteria is even rank is five or less so let me apply that criteria first again go to the design view find out where even rank field is this is even rank field in the criteria you are going to apply even rank is 5 or less less than or equal to 5 then click run so i can see here now i have got the records have been narrowed to 69 and the even ranks are all either less than 5 or equal to 5 one more search criteria is their ability does not include novice so let's have a look this is the ability we should have only those yeah only those records where the ability is not novice so i need to apply that search condition also again go back to design view ability i'll write not wise click run so now we have all the records except the ability no wise now our records have been turned to 59 we have 59 records as search result for this query so now our query is ready we can now proceed to make a report so there are certain conditions mentioned you need to include only these fields and that too in this order that's very important you should always make sure that you're displaying in this order which is given in the question paper with data and labels displayed in full so let's start making the report go to create tab report wizard So I need first name, last name, club name, category, gender, even rank. I don't require ability, so I'm not choosing that one. Click next, next, next. Now let me see whether there are any sorting criteria given. Yes, sort the data into descending order of category, ascending order of even rank two sortings are to be applied first is descending order of category the next is ascending order of even rank ascending order of even rank then click next let me see what are the other things mentioned has page orientation portrait yes it's already selected fits on a single page wide includes only the text results by category as the title displayed in a larger phone fully visible at the top of the page okay so let's it's portrait tablet tab tablar uh, adjust the field width so that all the fields fits on a page all these are checked 
I'll click next. Here I'm going to give the same name so that it will be easy for me later. So I'll just choose the same name. Paste it here so that the report will be created in this name itself. Modify reports, design, finish. This is called as the reports design view. So there are many other views. Let's see the report view. This is how your report is going to look like. If you notice, you can see uh, for the rank, R is missing. And here you can see some of the letters are truncated and some are not clearly visible. You have to adjust all these things. This is print preview. This will give you an idea how your report will get printed. So here you can see how many pages are there for your report and all these things, how it is going to print. And this is the layout view where it's very useful for you to make adjustments. So I can change, um, arrange the data and the labels in this report from this layout view. So I'm just going to click this, keeping the control key pressed. I selected this one. Then I'm going to make some room for the rest of the fields and data. This one, it takes time, but you have to do it. Even rank. Now I have noticed this one a little bit. Yeah, I have dragged this. Now all the fields are visible. Let me have a look in the print preview. How is it looking? Yeah, it's fine. I have two pages. Yeah, it's looking nice. All the fields are clearly visible. Close the print preview. Let me see what else they want us to do. Calculates the number of races and places this under the gender column. So you are asked to calculate the number of races. So number of races is simply the number of records. How many records do we have in our search criteria in our report? So that you have to calculate. And you have to place this under the gender column, formatted as integer. Let's do that. So for doing all the calculations, go back to the design view. All the calculations are done in report footer. So let's make some room for it. I clicked and dragged down. Here on top, you can see AB. To do calculations, you have to click AB. I'm going to draw a text box below the gender field. This will give me two boxes in the second one that is unbound one. I'm going to use a formula to calculate the number of records equals count parenthesis star. This will simply count the number of records present in that report. So I have done this. Now let me go and check in the report view. You go and check in the report view. You can see, yes, I have got the answer. I hope you remember. We had 59 records after the query. So the number of races is 59. So I have got the result here. Now, has the label number of races to the left of this value? I'll just go here, go to design view. This is the left of the value. So I'm going to delete this and I have to type number of races. So I'll be typing that number of Races. This is the label. Okay, let's go to the design report view or the layout view to see. Yes, number of races 59. Now we need to format this as an integer. That means no decimal places. 
So I'll just click on here, format. I'll just click fixed. Decimal places I'm going to choose as zero. So now it is formatted as an integer. After that, I click save. Has your name, center number, and candidate number in the footer of the report. So it appears on every page. So note this point. It should appear on every page. So that to make it appear on every page of a document, we go to page footer. You have page footer option here. So since it's mentioned, it should be appearing on every page. We are going to use page footer or else if the question was just at the end of the report, you will be placing it in report footer. Since in the question paper, they have asked us in every page. So we are going to write name, center number, candidate number in the page footer. So I'm going to choose AA. A is for making labels. Just click on that. Draw label box. Name, center number, candidate number. So you can type your name, center number, candidate number. Go back to the report view. You can see it here. Let's see the print preview so it will be more clear. So this is the print preview, the first page. Yes, name, center number, candidate number is here. Let's see the second page. The second page also name, center number, candidate number is there. So this is how your report is going to get printed. Now save and print the report. You just have to save the report, print it. That is done. Now in evidence 7, place in your evidence document a screenshot of the formula used in the database to calculate number of races. So they have asked us to show the formula. So just go to the design view. Where the, for here the formulas are shown. Again, I'm using snippy tool. Select this one. Copy paste in your evidence document. Evidence 7. So that is done. Now question number 23. Using the fields from both the tables, produce a tabular report. Again, you are asked to produce a report. So first thing, to make a report, you have to make a query. Select the records where location includes East, category is Senior, Penalty, Yes. Contains a new field called, you are asked to calculate a new field, revised MPH, which is calculated at runtime. That means while making the query, you are going to make this field. Using the data from average MPH field, reducing this by 5%. Reducing by 5% means total is 100, right? If you reduce by 5, it will become 95. So you will multiply it with 95%, 0.95, you will multiply it with. Format this field to display two decimal places. Shows only these fields. These are the fields to be there. Then some report descriptions are given. So first we are going to make a query. In our query we need to have all these fields. This is a calculated field and these are the search conditions to be applied in the query. So let's start making our query. So I'm going to close all these things. Go to create, query wizard, click OK. Now you have to select the fields from these two tables. Make sure you are selecting from these two tables and not from query because you have to select from the tables itself. The first name, last name, club name. 
it's first name last name club name so i have first name last name club name location category even rank so here i have location category even rank penalty average mph penalty average mph let me see whether they are revised mph we are going to calculate while making query let me see location is there category is there penalty is there so these much fields are required for the query i have included all those fields then click next next here i am going to give some name for the query so i'll just select the same report name itself so it will be easy for me to identify for what report i am going to make this query finish so this is our query speed penalties let's go to the design view and the data sheet view this is the data sheet view before applying the search criteria you have 774 records now let's start applying the search criteria after that you have to calculate a new field also revised mph the so first location includes the text east it says includes the text east so includes in that case we will be using something called as wild card search we need to display all the fields all the records where the text includes east so we will write star east star there can be anything in front of east there can be anything after east also so you are going to do the selection like this star east star when we asterisk the symbol is called as asterisk symbol so this kind of search it is called as a wild card search okay so let's see the location includes the text east so let's go to design view here the location in the criteria i'm going to write star east star click run this will display all the location see here you have location starting with east and if you go down if you go down because i have given an extra space here if you go down you can see again another locations which includes the text eastern okay so we want all these records south east is there so star east star means anything can be there in front of east anything can be there after east so we have done that now the next is category is senior just go to design view again find out where category is type senior now click run now you can see the records are narrowed down to 75 you have only those records where the category is senior then penalty yes again go to design view penalty yes you can do all these together also all the search criteria so you can apply it together 
but I'm just doing it so that it will be easy for me to narrow down my search results and I can see that I'm getting the results correctly. That's why I'm going to do it like that. So this is done. Now you need to include a new field, revised MPH, which is calculated at runtime using the data from average, using the data from average MPH field, reducing this by 5%. How to reduce this by 5%? So you will be using the formula equals, since that average MPH is already present, I'm going to write average underscore MPH in square brackets multiplied by, you are reducing it by 5%. So that's why I'm going to write 0 0.95. Since we are reducing it by 5%, you are going to write 0 0.95. The full is 100. When we reduce it by 5, it will become 0 0.95. Okay. So this is the formula I'm going to use there. So again, go to the design view. Go to the last empty column here. And type the new field name that is revised MPH colon. How is it calculated? Average MPH. Average MPH should be in square brackets. Why? Because it's already present in the database table multiplied by 0 0.95. So this is my formula. Then click run. So you can see you have got a new field revised MPH here. Now what are the specifications? You need to display it as two decimal places. Just click here. Go to design view. Click here. Format, fix, decimal places, 2. Then click run. Now you can see it is formatted to 2 decimal places. Click save. So we are done with our query. Now we have to make a report for this query. How to make the report? So these fields are to be included and that too in this order. That order is very important. Labels and data displayed in full. Do not group the data. Sort the data into ascending order of average MPH. So let's start creating our report. So go to create report wizard. Query speed penalty applied. Make sure you have selected the required query itself. One by one, we select first name, then last name, club location, club name, location, category, even rank, penalty, average MPH, revised MPH. Click next, next, next. Let me see whether any sorting has to be applied. Yes, it has to be sorted in the descending order of average MPH. So just make it descending by clicking on it. Then average MPH. Next. It is tabular. Page orientation is landscape. So I'll choose landscape. Fits on a single page. This should fit on a single page, means there should be only one page for this report. So, fits on a single page, okay, includes only the text speed penalties applied as the title. So, this is the title of the report. Nothing to do here. Click next. So, I'm going to give the title here. For reasonness, I'll select from here. And give the report name as the title name itself. The advantage is that if you give the title name, title usually comes in the report header. You don't have to type it again here. So I'm giving it there itself so that it automatically comes in the report header. This is the report title. Okay. So let's see. This is the design view of the report. 
let's see the report view okay so you can see some of the fields are truncated hashtags are there hashtags simply mean there is not enough space for that field to get displayed and when i notice i also notice that the order is also different average mph has come to the front so i have to correct that one then here in the location field some of the fields are not fully visible so i have to make a lot of changes in this so i have different methods of doing these changes whichever finds best whichever is suitable for you you can do that so i'll show some of the methods the average mph i know that this has to be at the last so i'm going to select the heading as well as the details then i'm going to move this to the end pressing the arrow key yeah i have moved this to the end so that i have some room here now i'm going to select from first name till the end with the help of my mouse i'm going to select both together you have to select both together till penalty i have selected so all these fields got selected then i'm going to use the arrow key left arrow key move it to the left this will save a lot of time that's why i'm doing this in the design view you can also do this in the layout view now i have this average mph so i'm again i'm pressing control key together then keeping it in position okay so now the order is correct first name now the order of the fields are correct first name last name club name location category uh, rank a uh, penalty average mph and revised mph all are in the correct order let me have a look in the report view how is it looking yeah now also the location the spacing is not yet correct the location field some of the file, some of the data is not fully visible and for average mph the headers are not fully visible uh, field names are not visible the values data are not fully visible so i need to make all these changes i'll show you both in report as well in design view as well as in layout view so this is layout view i can click here keep the control key pressed drag it make sure you are giving space for all the fields so now i notice i need to drag all these things so i think okay better it's going to design view i'll do it from there so i can see that space here okay so i'm going to select everything use the left mouse button or left arrow key i'll move this here again i'm going to check in the layout view okay this is fine last name there is enough space club name i'll select i'm doing this so that i can make some space here to make all the fields visible then i have category I don't need this much space for the category and there is space here also so I'm moving it to the side rank I'm moving it to the side even rank penalty click here first then keep the control key press click here okay then i have average mph so you can do all these things either from design view or from the layout view after making all the necessary changes it's very important that you check it in the print preview that gives the complete the perfect view of how it will get printed so let me check in the print preview yeah it's fine i can see all the fields all the all the field names are visible all the data are fully visible 
and even it fitted in one page here i can see only one page it fits in single page that is also correct so i think uh, the spacing part i have done it correctly now includes the text speed penalties applied as a title at the top of the page format it so that it displays in a black 30 point serif font style serif means times new roman so i'm going to make those changes now again go back to design view here speed penalty is applied i'm going to select this click on the format here i'm going to make it 30 and here i'm going to choose times new roman Okay, so once I have increased the size, if you notice, you can see applied, applied is not seen. So I'll increase the size of this text box so that it is fully visible. And I'm going to make some space also here so that the heading letters are not truncated. Okay. Now I have to make it black, so select this, again go to format, this is the text color, choose black, that is also done. Again I am going to check in the, print preview, yes it's fine, I can see speed penalties applied, it is 30 point size times new roman. And it's one page. Okay, so that step is done. Has a name, center number, and candidate number on the report. So if you notice, it's only mentioned it has to be on the report. So it can be at the end of the report. So we will be using a report footer for this. Just go to the design view. The report footer, I'll make some space. Then use this label tool to make draw the text box. I've drawn the text box, then I'm going to type name, enter number, antidate number. I have typed. Go back to the print preview and see whether it appeared there or not. Yes, we have name, center number, and candidate number typed here at the end of the report. So that is also done. Save and print your report. So we have completed this report also. All you have to do is save and print this report. In the print preview, you can go to the print preview. Then you can give print. That is done. Now export this work into your work area. Your work area means your folder where you have all the supporting files, all your works done. So we need to export this report to your work area in rich text format. And the file name should be SPA. So let's see how we are going to do that. So this is our report. Just click on the report, right click. You will get the option export. Choose a Word RTF file. Then you can click this. Open destination file after export operation is complete. So you can see how it got exported. Now browse to the location where you want to save it. I want to save it here. And file name should be given as SPA. Click save. Okay, now this is going to get open. Yes, we have got it saved. Close it. That is done. Evidence 8. Place in your evidence document a screenshot to show the exported file saved in your work area. Make sure there is evidence of the file type. So let's open the folder. 
where we have saved this is the folder where we have saved take a screenshot this is it spa so i can see rich text format also here copy and paste it in your evidence document make sure you save your evidence document every 5 minutes and it should be saved as a word file so that is also done so we have completed all the questions of task 3 microsoft taxes part thank you everyone